Hey people, welcome to The Runters, it's Kieran here, and this is our first run look at the new 361 Futura. It's a new heavyweight, high stack, all-terrain trail shoe that features the new Engage midsole foam. It's built for cruising off-road, and we just took it for its first run to see how it performs. Want to find out? Watch on. So some really quick details before we get into the first run then. Well, the 361 Futura has a 30 mil heel, 24 mil toe, or heel to stow stack for a six mil drop. They weigh in at a very hefty 320 grams or 11.25 ounces in men's size eight and a half. Price wise, they're 145 pounds or 140 euros. So let's give you a really quick speedy whip around the shoe, starting with that end TPU engage midsole that's designed to be more resilient than the classic EVA. There's a big stack of it here, and this shoe actually looks a lot like a road shoe when you first pick it out of the box. Up top, you've got a pretty dense engineered mesh uppers. These are quite thick, they are quite dense. Plus you've got really big plush padded heel collars. Got a thin tongue with a little padding there to avoid lace pinch. And then flip them over and there's a substantial Vibram Mega Grip outsole with some pretty serious lugs. So a quick word on fit then. Well, I've just done that first run in a UK eight and a half, which is my size. And these fit pretty good true to size. They are, there's plenty of room in the toe box. They are quite a big kind of wide shoe into that toe box. There's a nice amount of room, good kind of wiggle space for your toes. Uh, they hold pretty good across the top of the midfoot. Heel collars, nice and padded and hold as well. I think they might slip a little bit on steeper downhills. Didn't get to test them. So you have to lace them down quite tight to get that hold. But yeah, I think I'd recommend going true to size in these shoes regardless. Though they do feel like a big shoe on the foot. So I've just finished my first run in the 361 Futura and there's a few things that you notice straight out of the box with this shoe. It's big, it's plush, it's comfortable, it's a cruiser. It's got, you know, big high stack of soft cushioning that kind of soaks up lumps and bumps. It feels sort of spongy on the road. With big padded heel collars that hold and cushion the base of the Achilles and the heel in place. You know, this is like a big cruiser basically. And now while that does bring a lot of plush comfort, you're paying for that in terms of the weight. This is a heavy shoe on the foot it feels like a lot of shoe as well it is big it's got a big wide base to run off the thing is because the cushioning underneath is quite soft particularly for a trail shoe there's a couple of times when i felt the stability go if i sort of felt my landings i tilted out to the right or the left that cushion platform doesn't come with the most kind of stable base to run off it does protect the feet it is soaking up the lumps and bumps for the impact i wouldn't really want to go fast on this i think it makes you feel like you have to work quite hard to pick your feet up as well so I'm not sure, as you went longer into runs, if you're going over a lot of technical terrain where you're going to have to pick your feet, you don't want to be clipping your back foot. These feel like a heavy shoe for that, to, to me for that. You know, they are designed for road to trail. They cope very nicely on the road. They run probably better on the road, I would say, than on the trail. They're all right on kind of groomed trails that I've done, a bit like what I've got behind me here. And they were kind of fine. On the roads, they feel like some road shoes, some very sort of high cushioned road shoes. You have got, pretty big aggressive grip pattern on there though so they're a little bit sticky and overall from that first run my impressions are that these are just a little bit more shoe than I would like. So this shoe to me based on what I've just done this is a plodder of a shoe quite heavy it's not going to be the kind of shoe that you're going to pick to go fast. For me it's a kind of thing where if you know you're going to run trails that aren't too steep aren't too technical nice flat groomed trails you're going to be going through villages and towns plenty spending quite a chunk of time on tarmac as well or you're going to be running light through parks. You might be doing, you know, the, actually the ideal is like a flat river path. A lot of the stuff that I regularly run, where you know you're going to be going low and slow and you just want something that's going to sort of soak up the impact and be a good sort of recovery pace shoe, then this shoe has it. Anything faster than that, I think they're just a bit too heavy. I don't think they're going to be nimble and agile enough to deal with particularly technical terrain. Uh, they just feel like a little bit too much shoe on the foot. And actually that big stack of midsole foam, and while it's soaking up the impact, from the trails and the roads. It's not gonna be your best friend when it comes to feeling your way along difficult trails and having that ground contact. So yeah, that's my first impression from, from this run. So after a good 11 miles or a couple of hours on feet in the 361 Futura, my early impressions kind of verdict, if I'm gonna give it a verdict, is that this is a, a plodding kind of cruise shoe that yeah, it's not my favourite. It hasn't wowed me. I haven't fallen in love with it. It kind of runs fine if you're plodding along and you're just taking easy trails. But for anything beyond that, I'm not quite sure it's going to have 
what it takes. It, it's comfortable. It does soak up the lumps and bumps. It's you know fairly soft. I think it actually, if you took off the, that kind of big hacking great grip, it might run better as a road shoe than a trail shoe. That's maybe a positive though on compacted trails, as I've said. But overall, I think from that first run, yeah, summary really is a bit too much shoe. It's a bit heavy. It's a bit clumpy and cumbersome. I, the softness of the midsole foam didn't provide the stability that I'd like. All that kind of ground connection, ground contact, the feel of the trails under underfoot. So I think it's a bit of a problem there as well. And overall, this for me, it's kind of happy recovery trail plodder, but not much more than that. But we will test more and see if we keep that opinion later on. So there you have it, that is my first run look at the 361 Futura Road to Trail shoe. Uh, if you have any questions that you want to see answered in the full review, hit me up in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring that bell if you want to see more videos coming up on the channel soon. If you're interested in our best Road to Trail shoes, there's a video popping up on the channel about now. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure to talk to you and we hope to see you again soon on the run test. Happy running everyone.